we factor that into our system. If we take a look at the three-quarter swing, obviously you can see the length that the, uh, the club head travels compared to the full swing. If they get there at the same swing speed, obviously for the three-quarter swing, there's less uh, time for that shaft to recover. The next factor is tempo range. The faster the tempo, the stiffer the shaft needs to be to compensate for how much deflection occurs in the swing. So we factor that, the golfer's uh, swing tempo, in our system as well. Let's take a look at the three different tempos here, the fast tempo, the medium tempo, and the slow tempo. The fast tempo, well, let's look at the green arrows, because this will be where the greatest acceleration occurs. A lot of golfers try to swing at the top of their swing, or, or swing hard uh, initially on the, on, on the downswing. This is going to cause the shaft to deflect uh, considerably at the, at the onset. This is why normally for fast tempo golfers, uh, they're encouraged to use a little stiffer shaft. A golfer that has more of a medium tempo, they start out slow, gradually build up, and then accelerate before they start to uh, decelerate a little bit. For a slow uh, tempo golfer, they gradually build up speed until the, the greatest speed is near the bottom of their swing. Because the, 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 the tempo is slow initially, these golfers could use much more flexible shafts than what their uh, swing speed would indicate. And we, again, factor this in. So that's why We'll have, remember what we said earlier about ranking the shafts and putting a number on the stiffness. The shaft may have a DSFI number of 90, but there's also a range. It, that range may be from 87 to 101 miles an hour. And again, the person with the, the 87 miles an hour with the fast tempo could use a shaft with a DSFI rating of 90 whereas the person with a slow tempo that swings closer to 100 miles could use that same shaft, or a golfer that's swinging maybe 94 miles an hour with a moderate tempo can use that same shaft. And that's a little explanation behind it. Next slide here. Some club fitters do not use club head speed at all to fit shafts. Rather, they use performance-based fitting. And what I mean by this is they have the person hit different uh, demo clubs with different types of shafts, different weights, different stiffnesses, dif different stiffness distributions, different torques, et cetera, until they find a shaft that works well for the golfer. Just think of going to the ophthalmologist or eye doctor. Once you find a shaft that works, then you can look at shafts with similar specifications, or what I call the DNA of the shaft. Let's take a look at what the uh, shaft fitting addendum will show us. Let's, these three shafts here, the Graphloy Pro Launch Blue 55 and R-Flex, Graphloy Pro Launch Platinum and R-Flex, the new image red image graphite R-Flex. All three R-Flex shafts, they're about the same weight, about the same frequency which you would think given the same uh, flex designation. But the nice thing about what we've done in testing, you can see the little nuances of each shaft. For example, we show the butt and tip deflections. Remember, the higher the number, the stiffer it is. In this case, the, the Pro Launch Blue has a stiffer tip than the other two. We have what's called a TB ratio, which is the tip to butt ratio. And this is a distribution of uh, the deflections. The lower the number, the lower usually the trajectory of the, the shot. So of these three, the red image would probably hit it the highest, the, the uh, Pro Launch Blue the lowest. Um, and you can take a look at the torques here. Uh, DSFIs are all basically the same as these three shafts. For example, if you want a little higher launch angle, maybe less spin, 
you might pick the Pro Launch Platinum just because it has the uh, lower torque with the, uh, the uh, more flexible tip that hit, hit it higher. The DS5 is an accurate way to compare shafts. And again, we've already done the homework for you. Hopefully now you've get, got a little better understanding on shaft fitting and know where to get the information and when you really want to compare shafts or just want to know what shafts you need. Thank you for attending today.